and he starts to think. And what I like, we ask quite a bit, actually with, with all our horses today, we ask for them quite a bit, not one single horse was sweating too much. Yeah? And we gave them plenty of breaks in between. Yeah? This, this idea of being in a clinic and then riding 45 minutes, four blasts without a break, I, I never understood that. Yeah? Okay, walk. Good. And you know it's tempting to help him a little bit with your seat when you do the PR, right? <laughs> so, yeah, but, but from today on you will be a Grand Prix rider. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. Why, why not? You know, have a clear image of the future, right? Visualize the future, prophesy victory, okay? That's what we do. Good. And we, we, soon we're going to go to some half steps. You just keep this tempo and walk and touch a little bit. Deep. Yeah? Go a little forward. Good boy. Try, try so hard. Remember, let me do the work from down here. Could you tell how hard you tried with the leg? Yeah? So keep your legs right there. Yes, keep your legs on. And you just push a little bit forward. And the neck nice and Position. It's good, it's good. It's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and circle, and help. We do it once more, we make it a little bit more relaxed. Yeah? Sure. But absolutely. He wants to brace a little bit, but remember, that's ten times better and easier to fix instead of a horse that wants to be down that bit on the floor again. Yeah? So now we travel a little bit away from the rail, and we just do a few steps. Yeah, you keep the hands a little bit lower, wider. Yeah, and don't try too hard because we don't want to make it too quick. So you don't make it too quick. Easy. He's doing it. Good. And walk, and walk, and walk. He's good. And once more on the long side. Still a touch more path. I don't want him to do a PR that gets a little wild and quick. Yeah? And remember, his walk is naturally a little bit that way. He wants to be quick. So we want to teach him a little bit quiet and see even if we can dare teach him to do this a little bit more cadence, okay? Then you Same here. Good. And so lower wider hand. Good. If you do it too hard, do it. You have so much spur on Yeah? Just, just the leg. Keep the legs and try it this time without the spur. And listen. Good. Head on. That's funny. That's funny. Head on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? It, you know how beautiful is that? If your legs can just stay down and you can just do it with your cap. It still was a bit too hurried. Yeah? Good. Now, don't be afraid to have the hands a little bit lower, wider. Yeah? And have, look, do you have a little bit more bend in your elbows? And shoulders back. Easy. Bend a little bit left. Left. So, oh, walking, walking. It's plenty. It's plenty. Good. Next step, what I'd love to see is that you do a halt afterwards. Yeah? Next step, I'd love to see that you do a halt afterwards. I want them to do a quiet PR, still a touch more relaxed, and then a halt, and then both of you take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> and now easy with your aids. I help him a little bit more. You all, your job is to push him forward when it gets a little stuck, and you keep his neck a little bit lower, yeah? We teach him a more of a relaxed PR, okay? Keep the legs where they are, position his neck low, hands lower, wider, a little more of a swinging here. Go forward and he gets stuck. He's thinking a little backwards. Yeah? Exactly. Crazy. Good. And then so important for me is to walk away when he does it. Yeah? That he needs to know that too. That he, that's a little bit that the pressure goes immediately away when he does it. Yeah? And again, you start with your touch. And then hold it. And Low legs, good. And walk to the short side. That's how he needs to learn. Yeah? And 
helps start to get out with a really nice light gate. Yeah? Nice and quiet as you see. That's good. From this low, the hands stay a little bit lower, wider, keep them keep there in the neck. And now don't try too hard with the leg. Keep his neck low, and you just think forward, him moving forward. He thinks a little backwards in the head. Forward. And hot. And hot. Good. Good. <laughs> Enthusiasm and your engagement, I love it. Yeah, but you can try too hard. Yeah, and that's great how you taught him. I mean, what you've done with him since you have since a young horse, that's seriously impressive to you. Yeah, but now ask yourself when you watch yourself in the video camera, did I help him too much each and every day? Yeah, good, that's great. Yeah, it's tempting to do more, but I just wanted to give you. Nice guideline what you can expect now in the future. Yeah? Truly visualize every single day a really good plan. Don't just get on it and say, well, today I'm just going to warm them up and do this and this and this. Have a really good plan and visualize every single day what you're going to do with it. Yeah? What that needs to look like when you sit nice and quietly and he passages and piyaks underneath you. Okay? Listen, it's a very intelligent horse. What you've done with him is. Fabulous since you, since you were the only rider since he was young. Yeah? I mean, I really take my head off and I want to say congratulations. Super. Wonderful horse. Really good job. Thank you.